What's going on, guys? How are you guys doing today? It's your boy, Crazy Dude 36 coming at you today with my MPBF Season 6 Week 1 Team Builder for my battle against Antonio and his Kasaki City Glaceons. As you can see, I have his team pulled up on the docks, and I will make a quick run through of his team, and I just dropped my phone. So that's probably what you just heard. I'm basically going to make a run through of his team and tell y'all guys what I think about each of his mods. Tyron and Tars is a first Z-move user. Is a heavy hitting rock and dark top. Can be dangerous when it has sandstream because it that allows it to bring up a sandstorm. Also with the ability to set up stealth rocks and can be dangerous because it has access to a variety of different types of moves. Milo Tick, which is his first tanky water water type Pokemon with a high special attack stat can deal massive amounts of damage with moves such as Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Scald. Next is his Crocodile, heavy hitting Stealth Rocker, hits most mons with his high attack stat and with his great typing, can be very dangerous if he has his Anger Point ability activated. <sighs> Gardevoir, his second Z move user, is a heavy hitter but can't take hits very well. Mill Tank, um, yeah, Mill Tank is his only bulky normal type that I can see on his team. It can take damage, heal the damage that I just took, and deal damage back fast. Uh, Blastoise, which is the second tanky water type that he has on his team, can be ran as either an attacker or a special attacker, which can be kind of dangerous. So that way you don't know what's the, what the plan around. Next, um, it says Electivire. Prob he more than likely will probably bring this if he brings Blastoise or Milotic. With that motor draft ability to have, it gives him an electric immunity, and whenever he's hit by an electric tap move, it raises it, hit, it raises its attack stack. Roselia, glass cannon, nothing more to say. Mawow can be a dangerous mon. To deal with, especially with that sheer force ability, and hard to plan a team around with only having two top weaknesses, I believe. Mega Lop, honey. This thing is going to be the most problematic Pokemon that he has in this team, in my opinion, because it's very fast with a base 130 speed. It can hit very hard with a base 136 attack. Well, that's enough of his team. Let's get on to my well, uh, my team that I plan to bring. First, I plan to bring. Magnachon, our modest Magnazone, holding an air balloon to protect him from his four times weakness against the ground types. He'll be running Thunderbolt, Thunder, Flash Cannon, and Protect. Thunderbolt's pretty much Thunderbolt and Thunder are to take care of Blastoise and Malotic, and Flash Cannon is to pretty much take care of Gardevoir, and I think Marwile. I'm still not 100% sure about what Marwile's weaknesses are. Protect is to just allow us to scout out a move. He has 248 HP EVs, 252 special attack EVs, and 8 special defense EVs. All of this with his analytic ability, which gives him a 1.3 times in power if he uses his move last. Next, we're going to be bringing our Cotton Ball, which is our Timid Whimsicott, who will be holding a focus sass so he can take a hit from any poison type mon that he has in his team, which I believe is only one is Roselia. This way it can survive at least one hit and be able to pull off uh, any style of this move that it has. Running Tailwind, Moonblast, Defog, and Encore. Tailwind, running Tailwind because it allow us to move, it allow my mons to be faster. Moonblast to take care of any pesky dark types that he has in his team, like Tyranitar and Crocodile, uh, Defog, so that way I'll be able to get off any, get away with, that way I can take care of any, I'm trying to think of how to say this, oh, any hazards that he has set on my team, on my field. I'm also going to be rocking Encore, that way if he chooses to set up or like, set up like Stealth Rocks one time and I catch it, I can go with Encore and he'll be stuck with uh, stealth rocks until like uncle sets off or he switches mods which can be very dangerous he um cotton ball will be having 252 special attack and speed evs 
with four EVs and special defense. Having that prince ability so it can move against mons that aren't dark move first against mons that aren't dog type and get which will allow it to uh get some good status moves up. Next one next we're gonna be bringing my boy Alduin the God Chomp. Uh holding a ground DMZ for a hard hitting Z earthquake. Running Earthquake, Home Claws, Dragon Rust, and Stone Edge. Reason I'm running Earthquakes is basically it's the strongest ground type phys physical ground type move in the game, I believe. Home Claws to increase his attack, which will make all of his moves more dangerous, and also increases uh, accuracy, which means Dragon Rust and Stone Edge will be able to take on, be able to hit more. Stone. The reason I'm bringing Stone Edge is Dragon Rust, basic stab, like everybody wants to bring, everybody wants to bring at least two stab moves, with a uh, mon that has two typings. Next, I'm gonna bring. In st I'm also gonna be bringing Stone Edge to take care of his four times ice weakness, which I don't believe he has any ice type mods in this team, which actually ain't really that bad. But I'm still gonna be bringing Stone Edge because it's pretty good against most of his team. Next, I'm gonna be bringing Guppy, our uh, adamant Mega Swampert, obviously holding his Swampert out so he so you can Mega Evolve, with an Ice Punch, Hammer Arm, Waterfall, and Earthquake. Run an ice punch to protect it from grass type moves. Hammer arm to deal with any um, dark types that we come into contact with. And so I had to take a breath. Run and running waterfall and earth earthquake for basic stab moves. She'll be having two hundred fifty two EVs in attack and speed with. Four EVs and special defense, while also having a swift swim ability, which will allow her to outspeed most of the mons that he has in his team while Rain is active. Second to last, we're going to be bringing Crusoe, our modest Lapras, holding a damp rock to ensure that Rain Dance lasts uh, eight turns instead of five. Running Rain Dance, Thunderbolt, Freeze Dry, and Heal Bell. Rain Dance to uh, Pretty much, you make sure that Thunder never misses, and that Swamp and that Guppy uh, pretty much outspeeds most of his mods. Thunderbolt pretty much to take care of any uh, water type mods that we have in my team, because I don't think I really have any water what uh, water type weaknesses to my team, but it'll pretty much still be there. No one will really expect it. Next, I'll be next with Free Stride. It's pretty much another water top check because it's super effective against water top and it's basically it's basically kind of like an amped up ice beam in my opinion also having heal bell which will allow it to heal any mons that get burned from uh future scald from like blast stories or model tech uh it would be having 248 hp evs 252 special attack evs and eight special defense evs with which will Oh, which will allow her to, or him, which will allow, shit, I can't even speak right now, sorry guys. It will allow him to uh, take hits decently and deal damage <sighs> a good bit. With that shell, with his shell arm ability, uh, he will be guarded from any critical hits that could be coming his way in the near future finally we'll be bringing houdini our timid male meow stick holding a life of life orb to boost his damaging moves running light screen reflect psychic and hp fighting basically i'm bringing light screen and reflect to reduce any damage that i will receive in the future psychic for basic stab and hp fighting to take care of its only weakness that he has in his team which is dark types he, he will also be having 252 EVs in a special attack and speed with 4 EVs in special defense. Again, with this Prince ability, it will allow him to get up light screen and reflect relatively early on in the game. Well, that's it, guys, and I hope y'all cheer me on in my first match for Season 6 of the MPBF. I'll see you guys later.